So when you come to a tech channel, you think of mobile phones, laptops, drones. But there's one thing that I thought I'd try out or share with you that you may not have thought of. A toaster. Hey what's up guys, my name's Aidan, this is Everyday Tech and before we get going, don't forget please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications icon, you'll be notified anytime I do any tech news or tech reviews. So sad news people, the other day I was making some toast and after about 20 seconds a little flash of light, a little pop and it was dead. The element had gone. Now I'm not faffing about trying to change an element in a toaster it just warrants a new toaster but this is a pretty big deal or at least it is for me and I'll tell you why now now you'll have to forgive me because I have got part of a loaf of bread now I don't know if you get this anywhere else in the world but there's a toasty loaf called Warburton's now they're really big in the UK and you know they've been having some big names from you know from Robert De Niro to a couple of other people that I can't remember at the moment come and promoting their products over here including the Muppets actually the Muppets did it that's probably the biggest name I can think of and but they do what is called a toasty loaf and they make you know the perfect slices of toast the problem is most toasters are not big enough to take a toasted loaf. Most toasters aren't big enough to take any sort of slice of bread. So I went on Amazon, typed in toaster because I wanted one the next day and hey presto, I found one. And it's this one right here. You look at it and you was like, yeah, this is this is Warburton approved. Now when you actually get the box, it actually says perfect fit for Warburton's toasty bread. Which is this? So this is made for it. And if it fits that, it fits most bread. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and you know what? We're gonna test this bad boy out on here shortly. So let's just get a quick unboxing. I'm not gonna do the overhead view. I'm just gonna, you know, take it out of the box with you with me just very very quickly so bear with me instruction manual don't need that it's a toaster uh, ooh. cardboard more polystyrene but look at this bad boy this is amazing now I can tell just by looking at this that it's going to do a good a, a good job because it always it already seems slightly taller than previous toasters that I've had. And when I say previous toasters, one, I mean I've had one for the last I don't know 12 years. So compared to that one, this should do the job. But I'm just going to try and plug it in. One minute. I need to take the cover off. That was a lot of hard work to plug in a toaster. I didn't realise I had no plug socket close by, even though my room is six foot by seven foot. So yeah, that was that was quite a feat. I had to unplug certain things, plug certain things in other places, and lights were going on out and it, nightmare. But I've got it on. So I'm just gonna check the bottom. It looks really good. It's pretty much a toaster. You've just got a little crumb tray in the bottom. Now, it seems like a bit of a fig fingerprint mag magnet because it is chrome, but it does look good. I mean, you've got your dial here to how, you know, how brown you want your toast, one to six. Obviously, I have yet to actually test this out, so I don't know. Uh, I think I shall put it on, you know, three and a half. 
and you've got three buttons on the front. You have got a cancel, a frozen bread button, and a reheat bread button. Now, again, pretty simple. But, this is the moment of truth. I am gonna get two pieces of toast. You, you know what, I'm, go I'm gonna get one piece of toast. I'm gonna get the crust because here now it's like it's gone 9 p.m. and I've had a really big steak for dinner and I don't really want toast. I'm just, you know, doing this because I think I need to show you. But let me get a normal slice out as well. So a normal slice and a crust are about the same size. You know, give or take a couple of millimeters on the top but they are about the same size. So it goes in. This is very exciting. Wait a minute. Wait, I didn't check. Do, do you? So I do need the instructions. One thing, right, it doesn't actually tell you whether you put the bread in vertically or horizontally. It seems you can do both. When you put it in vertically and you press it, it seems to go in really, really well and the heating elements seem to get to the top of the bread. Oh, that is a good firm pop up when you cancel that. Well, if you put it in that way, it still fits, but it just seems to go down a little bit more. Now this is really good because it means not only is it big enough for Warburton's bread, it'll be big enough for your artisan loafs, for your bloomers, uh, for anything that you wish to cut to size. Because some breads that you buy from bakeries um, are slightly bigger than your average loaf. So this particular toaster, we're, again, I will put a you know a link in the description, uh, as well, especially in the UK. Uh, of where to get it but I'm sure you probably able to get this in any country um, so yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait and see what this bad boy does when it pops up it's gonna go on my phone and uh, before I forget again don't forget subscribe get your phone out press it go on do it now As I'm looking in the toaster, I can see that the heating elements inside seem really nice and even. The, the ones right at the top, which seem actually quite high, seem to be getting equally as orange as the ones at the bottom, which I have found on some cheap toasters, mainly my other one that I had, it wasn't even. Um, and apart from the fact that it'd leave an inch off the top because it didn't fit in the toaster, sometimes, it would leave the edges I'm going to cancel it ah, this is hot Ow. as a first run I would say that was pretty much a failure but it does do the toast and it has burnt it evenly That's pretty, that's pretty even. Um, obviously, this is the first time it's being used. So, you know, it's not gonna work perfectly straight away. And you've, obviously, I did press it down a couple of times before I actually started it. And then there's, there's the dial of the level of, or the amount of time. I don't know if, it, if the dial actually just the amount of time or the level of heat. I don't know, I'm assuming it's the amount of time that it stays in. So playing with that for the first few times, you should be able to get a nice even toast. Uh, but both sides seem really good. Yes, it is slightly done a bit more on that side, but it's its first go. It can't be perfect all the time. So can this toaster do anything else? Short answer is no, it's a toaster, it makes toast. It seems to do it quite well, it's quite even, it takes big bread, big
big tall bread so you're not left with that one inch of white bread at the top of your toasty loaf so you don't have to come in halfway through cancel it turn it upside down put it back up put it back down and start again then you run the risk of burning it so can i recommend this yeah i can recommend it I mean, it's not the cheapest toaster in the UK at the time when I bought this. It wasn't on sale. It was $24.99, which was the same price pretty much most places where I was looking. I'm sure if you waited, it would probably come on offer, maybe at Amazon or your local electronics store. But as it is at the moment, $24.99 for a toaster that is actually going to make decent toast and not miss anything. I can, I can recommend it. It looks good, makes great toast. Get one if you need a toaster. Don't get one if you don't. That'd just be a waste of money. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this different tech video. It's not probably what you're used to, but you may find it useful. And if you have, please press the like button. And if you've really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. It'd be very much appreciated. And thank you to all those people that already have subscribed. And if you've enjoyed this bit of fun, then share it with your friends. You know, they might enjoy this too. So guys, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.